Bal du Moulin de la Galette was painted by French Impressionist Pierre-Auguste Renoir sometime around 1876 and depicts a Sunday afternoon at the popular Moulin de la Galette, an outdoor dance hall in Montmartre, where everyday Parisians would gather in their finery to dance, drink and eat galettes. Two virtually identical versions exist of this painting, with the primary difference being their size. The larger, and arguably more famous version, is on permanent display at the Musée d'Orsay in Paris. While the smaller version is a looser rendering, the paintings are so similar that it is almost certain that one is a copy of the other, but it is unclear which was painted first. Of particular interest in this version is Renoir's masterful use of chromatic black, where the artist uses a variety of hues to create the impression of black. To quote Renoir, I'd been 40 years discovering that the queen of all colors was black. For many years, the painting was owned by John Hay Whitney until 1990, when it was purchased at auction for $78 million by Japanese businessman Ryoe Saito, who days before had set a record with his purchase of Van Gogh's portrait of Dr. Gachet for $82.5 million. It's my principle to get what I want, no matter how much money it costs. I was able to purchase two great paintings, and I feel like riding to heaven. The following year, Saito caused international outrage by proclaiming he intended to be cremated with both paintings, a comment he later dismissed as a joke. However, upon encountering legal and financial difficulties, a private sale was arranged through Sotheby's to an undisclosed buyer whose whereabouts are unknown. The painting has not been seen publicly for 32 years. Mm -hmm.